Hey everyone! Welcome back! I am back today with more Attack on Titan, you guys. I'm very excited. If you're joining me early today, you know what it means. It means you are one of my awesome patrons. Thank you so much, and you know as always, I'm sending you those big old hugs right through the screen. And if not, still thank you for joining me today. I'm glad you're here. I do hope you'll consider supporting me that way. The link to my Patreon will be in that description down below. So we had a pretty big episode last time on Attack on Titan. I actually, as you're going to be able to tell from my clothes, I just finished watching it. <laughs> it was pretty great. Um, we're about to find out. Oh my goodness. We're about to find out who the female Titan is. Oh, I want to see so bad. But first, let me talk a little bit about last episode because I really liked getting to see... Aaron fitting in a little bit more in the Survey Corps and um, the way that they reacted to him starting to turn into a Titan um, was pretty unexpected for me, but the reasoning made total sense when Levi was explaining it. Um, I also really like that they took the time to go into that because all we've really seen up to this point has just kind of been like them fighting for Aaron. Like they, you know, they fought to like get custody of him um, during the trial and everything. And it was interesting to see like but on an individual level now that he's in there, how are they really going to take this whole Titan thing? And the part at the end where they all kind of are starting to stand each, understand each other and everyone starts biting their finger. I'm like, oh my God, are they all Titans? Oh my God. <laughs> but no, they were just doing it out of solidarity. Um, I also got a big kick. Like, you know this from my last reaction, but it just, it, it just amused me to no end. Um, when Aaron was going back and forth on whether or not he should turn into a Titan when they're in the forest, he's like, got his teeth on his finger. And they keep saying like, no, wait, stop. And he's like, huh? Huh? <laughs> he's like, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. <laughs> it just amused me a little bit, just the imagery. But, um, so we did find out some interesting stuff about Aaron's abilities. He cannot just self-inflict harm intentionally and um, turn into a titan without a specific goal like I need to lift the boulder I need to get my spoon uh, everyone's about to die um, the female titan's about to get me um, so that's I think that's kind of an interesting twist you know that he's not just it kind of takes away the god mode of it because if he could just do it whenever he wanted it would become, it could, it would run the risk of becoming a little redundant. But knowing that there's a little bit more world building involved than that kind of uh, adds the extra element of like, you know, what if somebody was trying to force him to turn into a Titan against his will? Could he do it? Or would he have to be like on board with his specific goal Maybe he could because there is a goal in mind, assuming that somebody's forcing him to, but it just kind of adds like an extra layer to it. I thought that was interesting. Hanji was amazing. Hanji was just living her best life in this episode, which I just, I'm enjoying her so much. Um, so I thought the way that they captured the female Titan was really cool and it, it paid off to kind of like just sort of you know, be patient and wait and see what the plan was. Um, because apparently they lured the female Titan into the forest to get captured and they're taking her alive so that they can get more answers on who she is and, you know, maybe on like how the, this whole thing works, you know, maybe she knows who did it to her and she remembers, who knows. But you guys, there's only one way to find out and that is to jump in to the next episode of Attack on Titan. Let's go! You guys had no idea. Sitting there acting like they had any clue what was going to happen. He really, he does have a soft side. Or not soft, but at least caring. She's like, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, the look on her face says, maybe. <laughs> I 
Oh, he, oh, does he not know? He's, he doesn't know it's a human in there. Oh. oh. Yikes. So, like, we're gonna hurt it while we're at it. Oh, no. I didn't realize, like, they could... Yeah, like, they could climb and figure things out. Oh, no, that's not good. いや、調査兵団をやってる。先輩たちにも知らされてないなんて。うるせえな。私たちは団長や兵長の信用されてないって言いたいの。でもそういうことになっちゃいますよ。ペトラ、そいつはおお。前はどこだ。いや。おお。
It's my girl. <sighs> and they're so happy about it. Look at this one's like. Yeah, no, they're they're on a mission now. I didn't know the regular ones could be that organized. Oh, <laughs> look at him go! Huh? Wait! Are they trying to help her or hurt her? Oh, so they are after her just like they'd be after the Aaron Titan. Did she do this as like a way of not letting them get information about her? Like being killed by the Titans would mean they couldn't, they couldn't find out who it was. Okay. I was really hoping we'd find out who that was. Okay, so then... Sure. I'm sure nobody did. Please show me who's inside. Okay, so I thought she had herself devoured so they couldn't... But it makes sense. He would be able to see who was inside. Are you kidding me right now? They couldn't even give me a glimpse? <sighs> okay, you guys, <laughs> let's talk because that was crazy and they still didn't give me what I wanted, but it's it's all good. So, Gunther, oh, so, hit the tree and then looked like his neck, I guess. I don't, I don't think he's still alive. I don't think he's still alive. Oh, I, I hope I'm wrong, but he did, he did not look good. Um, wow, you guys. Uh, let's, let's start back at the beginning because we had some really great moments of um, just the characters kind of getting to get a little bit closer in this one. Um, I really liked the little scene. I mean, there weren't a lot, but there was a little scene there after... Um, they're kind of like about to kind of head out of the forest and everything where, um, it was really great to see them all just being like comrades and getting along and, um, you know, I feel like a bond is being formed with Aaron and the Survey Corps, which I love, but, you know, on this show, they can never give you, we can, we can just, we can just never have anything nice. This is, this is why we can't have anything nice. Because, <laughs> like, every time we have just a little glimpse something good um they they come in and they uh yeah they they 
that even the scales for us a little bit and give us something terrible. So, um, so it makes a lot of sense that there would be a spy within um, their, I guess not their ranks, but I mean like someone who had the gear, had the uniform, had the, you know, could blend in because of Sonny and Bean. Um, which is also like, I had, that just like slipped my mind. Like it all makes sense now that at first I was like, why would someone be a spy to help the Titans? Do the Titans really need help? But on the other hand, um, you know, seeing as how we have a survey corps that's very good at what they do, it's not unreasonable to think that they're going to get more and more information on the Titans until they unravel the mystery and are able to defeat them. So this kind of presents the scenario of, well, someone is helping to protect that mystery of the Titans. I'm sure, I don't know if they know about the basement, but I'm sure it's another thing that whoever, if they were a spy, that means, I mean, like, but then how did they come to be a spy? Did they just decide, like, I think Titans should be in this world and I'm going to protect them? Or is there a group of people who are trying to protect? Is it more than just one person? Is it an organization? Is it a, a group, a cult, a anything? You know, are there intelligent Titans? You know, can the Colossal Titan talk and he's making deals with people? <laughs> I don't know. I said this whole time. I think that there's something fishy with, like, their monarchy, their government. Um, it could be that. Is it Aaron's dad? I don't think so, because he wants Aaron to get back to the basement to unravel the mystery. But is Aaron's dad the one who did this to Aaron, to whoever the female Titan is, possibly to others? So many questions. Like, we got, like, a half answer and a million more questions, but um, it's just one of the things that makes this show so much fun to watch, is that it's a constant unraveling mystery, and I really enjoyed that up. Um, I love in anime when they'll like do something and you're like, wait, what? And then they kind of like explain it in a really smart way after. <laughs> I loved that when they did that on Naruto and this is no exception because I knew when he told Levi to stay behind I'm like huh okay so they knew see I thought based on what we know from Aaron Aaron's not gonna be like jumping out of his Titan and getting on his you know well I guess they already had the maneuver gear on but like I can't picture Aaron doing that you know he seems like pretty spent and out of it after he's just gotten out of the Titan. Um, but again, I'm wondering if whoever the female Titan is has more training, has more experience. It just really feels like they don't seem to have a lot of the beginner's issues with this that Aaron does. So it, it tells me like they've been a Titan longer or they've they've been they have some kind of training or knowledge or something going into it. They're not just unwrapping it as they go. Um so, at first I thought when she called the Titans, I thought, like, they were going to help her and, like, get her down. And I'm like, oh, my Lord, I didn't even know Titans could do that. Like, that they could be, like, led and that they had, like... Although Armin made a good point, they can learn. So there is, like, some intelligence there. It's just a very base kind of, you know, um, it's, it's not... <sighs> They don't seem to have reasoning, I'll put it that way. They might have some intelligence, but I don't think they can reason from what I've seen. Um, but they have, like, instincts, maybe. We'll, we'll say that. Uh, man, I, I just, like, my head is spinning right now. Um, I'm definitely going to be processing this one more and more and coming up with crazy theories and everything throughout, uh, throughout the next, you know, few days till I watch the next one or week or whatever it is um so you guys I have no idea I have no idea what's gonna happen apparently we're not gonna find out who it is anytime soon maybe I'm wrong maybe it'll be next episode I hope we can only hope that'll be like that'll be like season one finale stuff which by the way I just finished episode 20 assuming that this is like a 20 five-ish episode season um I am quickly closing in on the end of the season which is crazy to think that 
we've covered so much ground, but we, <laughs> I still feel like there's so much unanswered. Uh, they probably won't even answer it all in season one. Like, I'm, I'm sure they won't. I'm sure it'll be stretched out. I'm sure, like, I'll be starting season, f isn't season four coming out soon? I'll be starting season four when I'm caught up, and I'll be like, well, here we are. <laughs> And we still don't know, um, but we'll see. I am so enjoying it, you guys. Every episode just gets better and better and better. Um, the the mystery level on this show. I can see why this show just cannot be spoiled, like, whatsoever. Like, I so get it now why you guys were so warning me about spoilers, because the whole thing is, like, a murder mystery, or at least just, like, a really good mystery. Um, so... I'm having a blast. Thank you so much for joining me today. Please be sure to join me next time. We will watch it together. Bye for now, guys.